So let's explore device security in TwinGates. It all starts under devices and security under which you will find the minimum OS requirements. This is the lowest level that you can allow or block in TwinGates. And what the minimum OS requirements are, it is essentially the minimum set that must be true of a device that connects to TwinGates for the device to be able to access TwinGate itself. It doesn't say anything about accessing resources. The minimum OS requirement only verifies certain things about your device to allow it to connect to twin gates uh, so you can block or unblock entire operating systems we're going to start here with mac os and ios not blocked i'm going to restore the blocking of windows which in this case and we're, we're starting with no trusted profiles and we go towards what trusted profiles are later but just seeing here uh, what this says is that if I try to connect to my TwinGate network called TwinDocs with a Mac or an iOS device, I will be able to connect. If I try to connect with Windows, Linux, or Android, I will not be able to connect. So this translates to, if I connect here, it will ask me to log in and it'll grant me access on Mac. If I go to a Windows box instead and try to connect to the same network, TwinDocs, with the same account, so as the same user, it will not allow me to connect because Windows has been blocked in TwinGate. That's because of the minimum OS requirements. Now, the fact that you have minimum OS requirements, think of it as the general rule, but it doesn't mean that you cannot apply an exception to that rule. So an exception would be created by a trusted profile. So we're gonna go and create a trusted profile for Windows. And our trusted profile for Windows always has to have a trust method. Actually, here, you'll notice that we did have access via Mac, but we didn't have access via Windows. If we take a look at the list of devices, neither the Mac device nor the Windows device are trusted, but I still managed to gain access with the Mac device because it satisfied the uh, minimum OS requirements. Now, if we want to create an exception to the minimum OS requirements, what we can do is we can create a trusted profile and we'll create a trusted profile for Windows. Let's call it VIP Windows. A trusted profile must have a trust method, which means that it will require devices to either be manually trusted in the device list that we just saw, or you can delegate the trust itself to an EDR solution. Currently, as of uh, August 2022, CrowdStrike is already available. Jamf is coming next, and we're going to continue to add it to the list. Now we could still in a trusted profile enforce some device posture checks. We're not going to do that here. It is entirely optional. What we will do is just create this trusted profile. And if our trusted profile is here, now let's try to connect again with Windows. Now, with Windows, I will have access to Twin Gates. But remember, while I do have access to Twin Gate, the device requires a trusted method. So in this case, it's returning that the device has not been trusted yet. So what I can do simply is go to the device list. I could do this with the API or command line as well. And we can try to join our network again. And now because the OS minimum OS requirements are either verified on Mac or there is a trusted profile, I should have access to my TwinGate network. There we go. Now again, this says nothing of access to resources. If we take a look at my network, I only have one resource. This resource happens to just be 
a web browser, sorry, a web server, it's an Nginx server. And so the bottom line here is that if I can access this page, it means that my resource is accessible. Now, if we take a look at Windows again and go to the same server, let's see what happens then. I have access as well. Now, how do I make it so that I fine tune the settings of TwinGate to customize what resource is assigned which policy? Uh, as, as many other things in TwinGate, it revolves around the concept of groups. So if I go to the definition of my groups here, my user belongs to two groups. The user, the, the group in question is web app users here. And it's web app user implements a web app policy. So let's take a look at what this policy actually says right now. The way the policy is set up is uh, designed to answer the question, what must be true about the device that's connecting to a particular resource? So in this case, because my group points to this IP address as a resource and to this policy, this needs to be true for me to access said resource. Now, if you take a look at what the device security section says here, it says that any device will allow me to connect to the resource. So a device will be allowed to connect if either the minimum OS requirements are met, which is absolutely the case if we go back to my device security here. So if I connect using Mac, the device, the minimum device, the minimum OS requirements are met, therefore I will have access to my resource. Or when I connect to Windows, there must be a trusted profile associated to the operating system for it to connect. This also makes sense because there is, in fact, a trusted profile for Windows and the absence of this trusted profile for Windows explains why we pre previously did not have access to the resource or anything actually from Windows. Now let's take a look at the other options we have here. Currently, our policy states, again, that any device, as long as it has either a trusted profile or minimum OS requirements, without requiring device trust will have access. The second option is to only trust or only give access to trusted devices. This means that if I confirm the change here, remember the device must have a trusted profile. So if I go and run the same tests on both Windows and Linux and uh, Mac. Let's connect again to my resource here. If I refresh my page, I no longer have access to it because this is not actually, this is prompting me for more, but this does not work because macOS is blocked. In this case, macOS is blocked because macOS does not have a trusted profile here. Now on Windows, what happens if we connect to our network on Windows? So let's make sure we don't have access now. Correct. This is going to loop and not yield anything. Now let's connect back to twin gate. Same user again, just different device. If I now sign in and refresh access to my resource, now I have access to the resource from Windows and not Mac. In this case, because I set up my policy to accept minimum voice requirements, which Windows has none. However, actually no. I set my policy to accept only trusted profiles, which means that only Windows users have access in this case, and Mac users do not, even though they are not blocked here. And finally, the third option, custom, 
is as close to the resources or to the resource itself as it gets. With custom, you can do a combination of multiple things. You can use trusted profiles, but you can also use minimum OS requirements. So if I wanted to restore access to Max, even though Max should not have a trusted profile in this case, I could simply select Mac OS and iOS. And if I did this on my Mac, I should now be able to access the resource itself. There we go. Now this is restored again because my device policy says that I must have a trusted profile or run iOS um, or macOS actually.